Hi, I'm Mark from easylawnmowing.co.uk and in this video we're going to take a look at the iNavi service from Momotion. This service works on a range of Momotion robotic lawnmowers and enables your robotic lawnmower to navigate around the lawn without the need for an RTK station. In this video we're going to take a look at what iNavi is and I'm going to show you exactly how you set it up with your Momotion robotic lawnmower. Okay, so let's jump in and take a closer look. Okay, so first off, what is the iNavi service from Momotion? So it's been released in March 2025 in Germany and it's going to be released in the UK in April 2025. So what actually is it? So normally with a robotic lawnmower, which is GPS guided, you're going to need an RTK station, either separately or mounted on top of the robotic mower. But with this iNavi service, it eliminates the need for an RTK station. So essentially it's net RTK. So it's delivering the RTK over the network. So that network can either be Wi-Fi or it can be the 4G SIM that comes supplied in these robotic mowers. Okay, so what robotic mowers from Emotion uh, utilize this iNavi service. So first of all, we have the Luba Mini here. So in terms of the Luba Mini, it covers both the 800 and the 1500, and also the H version of this Mini that's available in the US and Canada. The, in terms of the Yuka Mini, it covers the 500, the 600, the 700, and the 800 that I have here. Uh, in terms of the full-size robotic mowers, it covers the Luba 2 AWD X version and also the Yuka 2025 version. And that also covers the H versions as well, which are available in the US and Canada. So it covers a really wide range of robotic lawnmowers. And what's just recently happened, I've just noticed an update come through, a firmware update and it now allows for iNavi to work over the Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. So originally it was just over the 4G, but as of uh, early April, it's now available uh, over Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. Late March, early April, this update has just come out um, and is now available over Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. And that's what I'm going to be testing this on today. I do have a 4G in here as well, but I want to see how it works over Wi-Fi because I won't be renewing the 4G service because I have adequate Wi-Fi here in my lawn. So what are the benefits of having iNavi? Well, in terms of these Yuka robotic lawnmowers, they are super simple to set up anyway. However, this takes it to the next level. This iNavi service from Emotion really is fantastic. So essentially what you're going to do is you're gonna unbox your robotic lawnmower. You're gonna go out to your lawn. You're gonna put your charge station down. You're gonna screw your charge station to the lawn. You're gonna plug it in. You're gonna put your your Luba or your Yuka on charge, you're going to add it to your app, you're going to select iNavi and that is it. You're basically going to say to the robotic lawnmower, map my lawn and then cut it using that iNavi service. It really just couldn't be simpler. So if you've been put off by a robotic lawnmower, especially an RTK GPS guided with the vision as well, thinking that they're really complicated, they're not they're so simple now to set up and Momotion are really pushing the boundaries in terms of technology uh, and how quickly they're releasing it. Every update has an improvement. So your investment in a Momotion robotic lawnmower is really well placed because they are continuously updating the app and continuously updating the firmware as well. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea of what the iNavi service is uh, and how it's going to benefit you if you want to use it. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to get the firmware updated uh, on, I'm gonna actually use the Yuka here. So I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware on the Yuka so that you can get that iNavi over the Wi-Fi. So this has only just come out because currently in its current state, it will only work over the 4G, but with this new firmware update, it will now work over Wi-Fi, which is exactly what I want. So what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna switch over to my phone and I'm gonna show you how simple it is to set up the iNavi service. And then we'll go ahead and I'll get it to map my lawn on that iNavi service and we'll see how well it does. So we're ready to go now to set the iNavi service up on my Yuka here, but the instructions are identical if you have a Luba Mini or one of the larger 
uh, Mamotion robotic mowers that support the iNavi service. The, the process is exactly the same. But what I'm going to do today is just set this up on my Yuka Mini. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen so that I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so as you can see there, I'm into my Yuka. So let me just come back. So you can see my Yuka on the screen here. I'm going to go into my Yuka. And you can see there already, it's telling me that there's a firmware upgrade. If you don't see that option, if you click the little cog there, if, this, if that doesn't flash up to tell you that there's a firmware update, if you see the little red dot on the cog icon in the top right corner, if you click on that, go down to device information and you'll see there new version and it's telling me to update so if i don't do this firmware update i'm not going to be able to use the iNavi service over the wi-fi and that's exactly what i want to do here because i'm not going to be using the 4g service because i have adequate wi-fi here uh, in my backyard or my back garden so what i'm going to do is going to click new version and if we just have a quick look down the list of what's new, so you can see there that we've added zigzag path settings, buttons to manually turn right, no-go zone perimeter trimming, that's a really nice one, random angle setting, support for obstacle, obstacle avoidance in channels, another great feature. Also, the next one is the one we're looking for, added support for using iNavi service over the Wi-Fi network. So Mamotion are fantastic, as I said earlier, at keeping their robotic lawnmowers up to date not only just up to date but in adding enhancements continuously listening to the users correcting any issues but also adding that functionality it's so exciting if you have one of these these robotic mowers from emotion uh, just trying to work out what they're going to do next in terms of functionality absolutely incredible some of the stuff there okay so there's lots of other improvements there but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click the one click upgrade the Yuka announces, Yuka Mini announces that it's upgrading and you can see there that it's going through and putting this firmware version on that's going to add all those additional benefits to my Yuka Mini and it would be exactly the same with the Luba Mini as well. So what we we'll do, we'll just let that update and then I'll show you how to turn on the iNavi service. Okay so you can see that you can see there that the firmware has now updated uh, it says upgrade successful. So I'm going to click the finish button here. I'm going to reconnect to my Yuka Mini. Okay, so the Yuka Mini is just rebooting. So once it's rebooted, okay, we're connected and we're good to go. So let's get the iNavi service set up over the Wi-Fi. So as you can see there, I've unplugged my RTK station. So we're not using that anymore. Uh, just make sure if you do, just make sure that you put the cap on the end of the cable there just to stop any water getting in should you wish to use the RTK station in the future. Just cap that connector off. But you can see there that the RTK is unplugged. So what I'm going to do now is I'm in my Yuka Mini. So I'm going to click the cog icon at the top right hand corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to positioning mode. So you can see that at the moment it's already on RTK over the internet. So I'm going to click into that. And what we should see now is the iNavi service. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that iNavi service and there. So we now see 4G and Wi-Fi. If I didn't update the firmware, I would only see the 4G there or cancel. But now with this firmware update, I've now got the Wi-Fi. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to click Wi-Fi. Okay, so you can see there now that it's now switched over to, um, to the iNavi service. So the positioning mode there is now iNavi service. And we are positioning status is good. So we should be now ready to go. So you can see we've got no RTK station connected. Okay, so you can see there now that our permission, positioning mode is iNavi service. So let's go ahead and see whether we can get this Yuka Mini to map out our lawn automatically using this service. So I'm just gonna come out there. So we've got uh, positioning status, good. Positioning mode, iNavi service, signal 4G. So I'm just gonna switch that over to Wi-Fi. Okay, so we're now, the iNavi service is now over Wi-Fi, which is what I wanted, but you can see that it works equally well over the 4G and gives us a good positioning status. So what I'm going to do now is go back and I'm going to create a map. I'm going to click next. And what I want to do is I want to auto map this. 
So you can see there you've got a light control now as well. So you can turn the, the light on. So I'm gonna to click to leave. So the Yuka will come off the charge station. And I want to start, robot has reached its destination. And there we've got method two now. So method two is the auto mapping feature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click that, start, and you can see there that I've got no RTK plugged in at all. And this Yuka Mini is now going off to map out my lawn. So what I'll do, I'll let it map the lawn uh, and then I'll come back and we'll see how well it's done over that iNavi service. Okay, so as you can see there, the Yuka Mini is really mapping the lawn very, very nicely indeed. It's going really up close to the edges here. You can see in this corner. And what it's doing now is it's making it making its way back to the point at which it started. And then hopefully we'll see on the screen that mapping is complete. It's just coming up to its charge station. Just so impressive, this technology. Back up to the boundary there. And there you have it, task area mapping complete. I mean, this just takes robotic lawnmower into the next level in terms of how easy they are to set up. No RTK station to put up on the side of your house or uh, any of those types of complications or additional setup procedures. It's so, so impressive what Momotion have done with this iNavi service. And the fact that it's now available over Wi-Fi as well is just incredible. I really love the Momotion robotic lawn mowers. They're continually being developed and improved. And this just goes to prove it with this iNavi service from Momotion. So I hope you could see there just how impressive this iNavi service from Momotion is. Absolutely incredible. It makes the whole installation process so much simpler without having to mount that RTK station somewhere where it's got to get satellite signals. Uh, absolutely incredible. So not only is it gonna then make it so much easier to map your lawn, it's also going to then just use that iNavi service to mow your lawn whenever you schedule it to go out. So no need for any RTK stations. These robotic lawnmowers from Emotion are already super packed with technology in terms of the RTK, the, the camera guidance, the AI that's in it. They're already incredibly good at navigating your lawn, but adding that iNavi service, that convenience of the iNavi service, just takes this now to the next level. And the competition have got a lot of work to do in order to now catch up with Emotion in terms of the technology that's coming out from them. I do hope you found this video useful of this iNavi service from Emotion. If you did, could I please ask that you click the thumbs up button below this video, it'd be much appreciated. And why not subscribe to my channel as well? You will need to click that bell icon if you want to get notifications of any future videos that I release. Over on the easylawnmowing.co.uk website, there's a Q&A section. You can ask me anything you want about the iNavi service from Emotion or anything to do with the Yuka, the Luba, or any robotic lawnmowers. Head on over there now and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. There's full reviews of all of the robotic lawnmowers from Emotion. There's comparison tables that show you exactly what range of Emotion robotic lawnmowers come with the iNavi service as well. So head on over there now, Easy Lawn mowing.co.uk uh, and take a look. Thanks very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.